Let's take a look at how to use Material Override in iRay for 3DS Max. We'll use this technique to quickly browse through a catalog of materials and review them in the context of a furniture model. Then we can build upon these base materials with additional material layering for an interactive design review. In the render setup, go to Material Override and click Enable. Now I can drag and drop materials for review. This has temporarily assigned one material to the scene so I can review that material in the context of this furniture design. iRay will continually render as I drag and drop more materials for review. We can see what a velvet material looks like. And maybe let's try a cloth fabric. If we find a material that we like and we'd like to work on it a little bit more, we can pull that material into the slate editor. If I double click on the material, I can review its properties. I can now see that this material has a base that is matte, so it has no reflective qualities. And it might be nice to enhance this material by putting a little reflective sheen on it. So I'll create a material layer that is a coating. I'll change that coating to a flip-flop paint, and I'll temporarily take the weight to zero. Now if I zoom in on the material, I can use the color picker to select one of the blues from within the iRay render. This gets us much closer in the context of the color scheme. I'll copy that to the flop color, and I'll take the weight back up to one so we can see the effect. And I'll zoom back out so we can see that in the context of the entire model. Now this adds a nice sheen, but the effect might be a little strong, so I'll take it back down to 0.25. Now if I select this wrap material, I can assign it to the selection, and I can also make the bitmap visible in the viewport. This gives me the assurance that I've assigned it to the right piece of geometry. Now I can turn off the material override, and we can review that material in the context of the rest of the scene. I've used the same technique to create a few more materials with material layers, uh, and let's go ahead and review the pillow material. So if I double click on that material, you can see that I've created a, a couple different material layers. So we have a gloss finish on top and a paint mat below. Now I chose to do them separately so I could independently tweak the values. So for a moment, I'll take the paint map and we'll put that weight to zero. Now we're just seeing the effect of the gloss finish. And if I do the same thing to the gloss finish, set that to zero, this has removed the effect of the material layers. So you can see we can quickly adjust the parameters for an interactive design review. I'll go ahead and turn the effects back on. And now let's go ahead and review the materials with a different lighting setup. You can try these materials that are from the Fabric Catalog and more from the Advanced Rendering Forum. Thanks for watching and as always, please visit us at nvidia.com and the Advanced Rendering Forum.